I think everyone here is excited for the Dome. Uh, a lot of hard work has gone into it. Um, uh, the staff, all the contractors, uh, the school district, and everyone else. We've had nothing but positive things come back to us. Uh, I'd say the number one thing we're excited is new opportunity and growth for the community. Um, giving back to our uh, patrons and the kids and um, just want to create new opportunities for everyone to take advantage of it. It is an airlock system so when you come in and out of the door uh, your ears may pop but that's okay. Um, our main generator or heat producer runs at about 30 to 40 percent capacity. Um, the technology is as such if it needs help it just naturally will increase the rate that it's putting out warmer air to keep it inflated. Um, it is also electric and natural gas so if we lose uh, power for example uh, the natural gas will then kick in and keep the dome um, inflated. If the first primary uh, generator needs support we have a secondary generator that's there that is also electric and natural gas that would actually assist in that if we do have um, a storm potentially that came through. If we do lose electricity um, and natural gas, which I don't think that we would, but if we did, we do have two other on-site generators um, that would also uh, be able to push heat and air into the dome to help it keep inflated. Um, if all of those go down, uh, it is 25 minutes to exit the, the dome and we have three exits inside the dome that we will be able to get everyone out safely. So the snow load, um, I just equivalated to these domes are in Minnesota, they're in Canada, they're in places that take five, six, eight, ten feet of snow loads on top. Here we don't get those type of snow loads. When we'll probably get that as well, but then that's when the generators will kick on and compute how much pressure it needs to put on. But snow loads aren't necessarily a huge concern. Um, it has a double layer. Um, the first layer is a little bit thinner. The second layer is actually an insulation piece that it's the warm air rises, it vents out and comes down around the bottoms. So it actually acts like a defrosting system. So in order for us to keep the snow from piling up, uh, probably predominantly on the north side of the dome, um, we've got two uh, snow blowers. We'll have shovels and brooms and we're also going to buy a backpack blower to keep all that stuff cleared away. So. That was a thing that Horizon said that we must do to have longevity of the dome. If we do have a storm front come in, we do have a weather vane that will detect that. Um, we will then go; in, it will then go into um, an automatic uh, weather storm mode, and that would actually increase the pressure, which increases the tension of the dome or the rigidity of the dome. And so, it's going to have enough natural pushback against those wind gusts that we might have. Um, so, it will naturally pressurize itself. When the front passes through and winds calm down, we can then assess and make sure it returns back to normal state. So I think for me, uh, a couple of things that gets me excited is uh, swim lessons for kids. That's going to be our number one priority. Um, and I do, we have aspirations on having a community center swim team. And so as a member of our society, I am excited for those opportunities for our kids that could, uh, that's going to lead into more job opportunities for uh, community members. That's gonna allow some of our um, high school kids to come over and work for us and be a part of that culture. So the two things that get me excited is creating opportunities for kids and allowing us to have a swim team potentially in the future. We don't have a tentative date yet, but whenever we release a tentative date for the opening, we invite everyone to come out and enjoy this with your family and friends. Thank you. Mm -hmm.